I was like, man, like, as a kid, bro, you always want to be in the game. Like, you know, you know what I mean? And this is exactly, you get that feeling. You know what I mean? And it's but, uh, man, this is, the only thing I can see them doing, they're going to do a revision because the resolution is shitty. I tell you that, but you don't, you don't even care when you're playing. You ain't even paying attention to that shit. But at the same time, I feel like they're going to go wireless. They'll oh, go wow. wireless. That's what they talking yeah, about. That's, that's what they was talking about in the PlayStation 5. Hold on one second. I'm here. I can't, you know, I, I'm, just, I, I'm letting the dogs out the back. I can't hear them. Go ahead. Yeah, they're they going to go wireless, wow. and they're going to probably have some haptic feedback type shit. I'm telling you, bro. It's just going to go forward from here. Um, you know, I mean, damn, bro. Like, the light gun, all that shit, bro. The shit is fire, bro. I want Everybody should experience it at least once. See, I don't know, man, because a lot of people, they say they can play it. But at the same time, you know, when it get down to the motion shit, like the cars and the moving fast, they get kind of sick. So, yeah, I've never tried know. VR before, so you I'm interested. Roller coasters? Oh yeah, I'm fine with that stuff. I think you'd be okay. You play, you play a lot of first person shooters. Yeah, yeah, you should be okay. Cause Z, that's why I'm scared for Z. This nigga don't play no Halo. He don't like no first person. He said he get a little dizzy. So VR is like maximum. You know what I mean? Of getting dizzy and you know. So hopefully he can handle it. I don't know. Yeah, I was playing Halo 5 earlier, man. I was having some fun, but in the back of my mind, I'm like, damn, I didn't bid. See, people don't understand, bro. I've been on, man, I've been gay. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. Like, I'm not one of these old new niggas, like K Megas, the Xbox. These niggas, almost 40, still <laughs> toting, <laughs> still toting and toting Halo. Like, it just came out, bro. I was on a day mm-hmm. one since Halo Combat Evolved, bro. I ain't never quit. Yeah. So by now, I'm already burnt. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm already burned. Like we, we, and you know, I'm telling you, bro. Halo Two when we it was backwards compatible with the 360, bro. We used to go so hard. Halo Three, man. Gears, man. I'm talking about eight hours, nine hours a day, straight every day. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Now, I Halo myself out. Like, I, I don't talk about it in the same vein that as they do at all. They, it, they talk about it as if it's a new thing. We yeah. come from the first Halo to That's Halo what I'm 2, saying. and you playing that shit regularly, eight, seven, ten hours a day. Right. That shit is, it's like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And you know what? You know what killed the two posts? I'm gonna keep real with you, bro. In 2007, when, when COD came out, bro, that kind of changed the game. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was Halo's first real competition on console. It was. It really was. Third parties came in, and that was it, bro. Call of Duty, and you know what? It wasn't. It, the main thing about Call of Duty was Sprint and ADS. That changed the whole game. Yeah. And that and I think Auto Aim, too. And Auto Aim, too, yeah. Because, um, I mean, Halo was more manual and strafing. You know what I mean? So Yeah. You, you had to work for your kill. And it was much slower pace, too. Yes. So Call of Duty was way faster. Yes. And I ain't going to lie to you, bro. Sometimes I do get an urge to play COD. I miss that fast in and yeah. out, boop, you know. Get I miss kills. it, too. Like, because yeah. on the 360, you had all those great Call of Duty games to go back to. Yes. And it's just yeah. like, now they're all dog shit. Yeah, and most of my friends that, you know, I've been rocking out with for the last decade don't fuck with it no more. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Because, look, Call of Duty gave a casual and a hardcore gamer, that's the first time we was on the same playing field. You had a pretty fucking game, ran at 60 frames, ADS, I mean, just... Everything worked for a newcomer yeah. or or a veteran, and that was the beauty and the balance of Call of Duty, man. You know, like it was, it just had everything you could you could want in a shooter. Halo was Halo became an acquired taste. Yeah. Call of Duty became the standard. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm trying to you say. They, they ain't got the all that shit. They get the king of the multiplayer. They ain't got that thing. They ain't lane no more, man. That's nope. Call of Duty on yeah. 360 will kick it off. Yeah, yeah bro. Everybody out, but now you got the biggest fucking movie play games. A free fucking play Fortnite, PUBG, and all that shit. I can uh, guarantee you that the most hardcore niggas that fuck with Halo and Gears back in the day is probably all on PUBG, Overwatch, Fortnite now. Well, who's that dude? Um, Ninja or something, whatever the Fortnite streamer. Oh, that, I don't know. How he's an old mean. um, he's an old Halo pro player. See, see, yeah, see? it makes sense. Everybody moved on. Yeah. Back in the day, Halo was like a fucking phenomenon. Like, it was, bro. GameStop used to stay open at midnight, party. Yeah, really, that shit was new to console gamers. Yeah. 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 Motherfucking, all that shit, man. It's not look, like that no I, more. I'm going to send y'all a video. Y'all, y'all could just look it up. I mean, I sent Next Gen a video, I think. But y'all watch Crobat, right? 
Cool. Mm-hmm. Y'all, y'all know Crobat? He does like all the comparison videos, like Far Cry 2 versus Far Cry 5 with how it was better than the bro. new one. No, bro, bro, when you go type in Crobat and type in 343 next to his name, he did this dope ass 12 minute video taking every interview from 343, comparing it with Bungie. And he just compiled it. He doesn't talk over it. He's just comparing the passion between both developers. And bro, 343 is trash. They have no passion for Halo. They're not yeah. creative. They're not innovating. Bungie, they said they will stay up for two and three days to make sure the game was fun. Like, they said, we're not leaving this office to this game as fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, they their focus, their focus was completely different, like, compared to 343. Like, it seemed like 343 is just not really trying anything. They're trying to piggyback off what the old Halo did. They're not really making their own lane. And you, I'm telling you, when you see that video, bro, you're going to be like, damn. They used to have that slogan with it, that 30 seconds of putting something in 30 seconds. I forgot that slogan they used to have. But you, hey, you know what's crazy you say that? Hey, hey, oh, you know what's crazy you say that shit? Because I mm. told about that shit. Told some people at 343 did passion. I said, no, nigga. You can't say that's all they want to make is Halo. You don't know that. Motherfuckers right. stay behind because they're going to need a job. It's so, not their so creation. Saying, they don't I care. Tell them, yeah, I can yeah, I, sometimes I, I feel like that's my man. Like, they self, like you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? It's what it is. But when you come out and, and it's, it's, again, this is all entertainment. It's fun. It's, when you come out and yeah. make blatant statements like that, you know what I mean? I don't understand. Again, you know, just remove myself from the situation. Why sometimes motherfuckers look at motherfuckers like they spooky or just that and the other. I have to have this man. shit. I'll be saying I'll be bugging the fuck. I have to have fun. But these mm-hmm. motherfuckers be believing this shit wholeheartedly. I'm like, yo, God. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, I just, I, just, I just sent you the video. Uh, you on Twitter? Oh, yeah, I yeah, see Yeah, bro, yeah. like, bro, this nigga, I mean, when y'all watch Crowbrat, I mean, he does, he puts videos out like once every three months, but there's, every video gets about two million views, each one. Like, he, I'm telling you, his videos are fucking dope, bro. Like, I'm telling you, man, this, this, this. this he gonna take this video. Man, I'm I know I'm telling I'm like, saying the next gen I, I'm telling you, next gen, take these videos and use them, bro, because this is he just points out the shit that nobody else does, bro. Like and you know what's crazy about the video? He just point he just took interviews from each company. He didn't even talk. He let the motherfuckers destroy themselves. Hey. It's crazy, bro. Like they just don't have no passion. I thought, bro, when once three four three like I, did you like Reach uh Griffin? I thought it was all right. I didn't think it was as good as three, but Facts. like I just couldn't get with it. I was already almost yeah. done then. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't it. even finish the story to that game. Honestly, I didn't like, finish Reach either. I didn't. Get, I, I, I didn't I, either. I didn't get into it. I played like the party games or social playlists or whatever with my friends on the 360, and that was about it. Yeah, bro. I haven't even. Be- bro, I'm gonna tell you how bad it is, bro. I have beaten every Halo game besides Reach and Five on Legendary. I haven't even got to the ninth mission in Halo Five, bro. Like, I just don't care. Yeah, I really don't. And it I sucks. Five on Did you? Good, yeah. good shit. I, I I couldn't do it. I could like those missions are so fucking tra- like, bro. Like it, I couldn't. It was boring though. It was, yeah. It was tough, it, but it, it, the story was boring. As there's well. no payoff for the challenge, and that's the problem. No. Hey, go down here. They're attacking from the left wing. Like, just. Yeah. I'm like. Fuck man, it just and I was like, that was the end of the chapter. I'm like, damn, that shit's over quick. Yeah, it was over quick. And that that's what surprised me. I'm like, we're done. Like that's the end. Like, <laughs> that's it. I still don't really know what's going on with like this whole forerunner the stuff. Before, the just... I, dude, the forerunners have to be the most wackest enemy I've ever seen in the game. They are yeah. trash. Thanks. Like they are. I'd rather go with the grunts. Yeah. Than go with the fucking forerunners. Their, their weapons are horrible. Their their character models are horrible. And they even talk about that in that video I sent Z when he was comparing the different enemies. And now you got like when you seen a fucking elite, right? You yeah. felt like you can tell where he comes from and his tribe, and you you can feel it without even knowing yeah, no bro, background. Said, yo, three, four, three, three, but Halo was three four three's baby though. Know? Yeah, the yeah. enemy will always be um, what's that fucking name that they killed off? Um, the Arbiter? No. Who are you talking about? The Flood. The flood. Oh, the flood. The bro. fucking flood. Bro, bro. look, let me let me explain something. Yo. The flood is the only thing we want as fans. I don't know why. We just love the flood. Bro. Yeah, the we flood's awesome. The flood. 
That mission where you're killing all the flood with like the um shotgun in Halo Three. Oh, that was so good. And half of their body so will be broken up, and then it'll still be moving. You'll have to shoot it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 like the flood was, in the flood on legendary. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. That shit was crazy. Oh Bro, can, can can you imagine if they put the flood and Atriox in Halo Six? Robbie Soul, I would be so Facts. day one. Yeah, I focus on life. Yes, bro. I'm telling you. I mean, they could almost do like a horde mode with just the flood, and that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Man, the motherfuckers used to go my fucking nerves. Do you remember? Remember the library? Like, bro. Yeah. When you started seeing them floods and events and shit, I was like, oh oh, man. You had the laser things. Yeah, bro. (laughs) (laughs) Bro, I used. Bro, I played like okay. I treated Halo kind of like I did GoldenEye. Like I would. And Goldeneye, you know, once you beat the game, you can go back to any any uh, level and replay it. Bro, I replayed Combat Evolved so much. And I think the library was, like, the most played level for me. Like, I played that shit over and over. Yeah. It was that suspense, that overwhelmment with enemies. Just, i never seen that in games before, you know? And they're not really trying to take those steps. Microsoft, bro, I'm telling you, Microsoft is heading down their services play anywhere lane because they really can't compete anymore. That's yeah. just the bottom line. And they're just putting out half-assed games right now because like even State of Decay 2, they're already damage controlling saying, yeah, this oh game's going to evolve over time, so I'm don't sorry. judge it yet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize, y'all. When I see State of Decay, all this <laughs> gameplay I've been watching, I'm like, bro, this can't be 2018. This just can't be what they offer me this year, bro. Like This shit looks like a, ar- a summer of arcade game. God yeah. damn. Even though it was, right? But when yeah. I listened to Game Informer's interview two years ago when Undead Labs was, was on a podcast, he was on there saying, you know, they fixed all the bugs, they're doing giving the game AAA treatment, the Microsoft's backing it, blah, 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 this and this and this. And this is the shit you give me? Oh, hell no. I'm good. I'm super good. Yeah. I don't know who do quality control at Microsoft, but they need to hire somebody else, man. Cause Bro. at least get these developers the time they need uh, to really post. Let, let, me, let, let, me, let me ask you this: Would you even feel comfortable, like put it this way, like this doesn't make sense, right? But if they was to put like a God of War game in Game Pass, it feel like it wouldn't even fit. Like, yeah, ten dollars yeah. to play this? Like, I don't even feel like yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah. So people get it, suspicious, right? It just makes sense for the. Media me, mediocrity to go in Game Pass. It just makes sense. You only yeah. paying ten dollars. What could you say? Exactly. Honestly, you know this game's amazing. You know, of course you're gonna say that bitch. You didn't pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. What the fuck? Yeah, that's that Game Pass gonna be. Is, is right Nigga went to go recycle cans and shit. Just fucking for Game Pass, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm I'm looking at Game Pass right. Now. I was on my Xbox. My first time turning it on since last since like what last month. And I'm looking at Game Pass, and I'm like, maybe out of all them games, I only want to play two. Maybe. Yeah. When I did it for um, Sea of Thieves. Oh, did you? I did it the trial for Sea of Thieves, and I was looking through it. Like, after I deleted Sea of Thieves after the first day, I was like, yeah, there's there's nothing in here I want to play. And if you did want to play, you you probably already bought it. Yeah, exactly. Like, I picked it up in a sale for, like, three or four bucks already. Mm -hmm. So. So, I mean... Like I said, and, and, and they really got to get some third-party developers on there to really give me, like, when you go to Netflix, right? I'm, I've been a Netflix subscriber since 08, right? Even right when they first started the streaming. They only had maybe, like, maybe 100 movies on there. Didn't have that much. I just stuck, I just stuck to, um, you know, writing the DVDs in the mail. But when they start putting original content on that motherfucker and they just keep dumping original content on there, bro, you can't deny it. Like, you'd be a fool not to have Netflix nowadays. Yeah. You'd be a fool. Microsoft, you got to make that platform appealing, right? Yeah, Netflix has been rocking. Netflix has been killing the game. Well, I mean, been... Netflix is in debt right now. They aren't making money. So... But they will. Oh, the, Yo, the, yeah, the they will in the long run. run. Yeah, but Microsoft has basically taken the opposite approach. They want to make money right off the bat and yeah, then mother... add content later. You motherfuckers is already making debt. money. They're dropping 750 original... Pieces this in one year this year? Yeah. I don't know what kind of debt that is. Seven hundred shit. What you talking about, Poe? Um, Netflix. Original titles. They dropping like over seven hundred and some. But I did my research on that, right? 
I did my research on Netflix. Cause I was just scrolling through one day. You know, I get ADD when it comes to that shit. I just keep scrolling and scrolling until I don't pick nothing, right? Mm-hmm. So I looked it up. I said, hey. so I clicked on something. I forgot. It was called like Devil Head or something. It was like this black chick and this white chick. It was like a comedy, like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> they like kill demons and shit, right? Yeah. So I looked up the show. It was a, a, a show in the UK. So I said, oh, I see what Netflix is doing. They go to these small indie film dudes. They go to the the, the foreign films, yep. and they just cut them a check, and they make the content exclusive. Yep, that's exactly what they do. Titles on that be from the um, what's that little film event that be um they do every Sun- year? Sundance. Yeah, yeah. Well, that joints from the Sundance film be on there too. Yeah, so Microsoft, what you need to do is cut the fucking check and get some dope third party exclusiveness here. Like it's not, I, I don't know what game is gonna be, but marketing rights ain't gonna cut it, Jack. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not gonna cut it. Like they, I know they're probably gonna have what Cyberpunk. They're probably gonna have uh, the Tomb Raider. Uh, what else they might have? Battlefield, maybe. I don't know. Like, but that shit, I, they can't rely on that, man. Yeah, not when you're going up against Red Dead and Call of Duty, that, and then Spider Man also from first party. Oh god. That Spider Man looks so fucking sick. Nigga, man. if they get Spider Man and Superman, bro, yeah, I think it's gonna outsell God of War. I think it will, yeah. but not by much though. Yeah, I think God of War is gonna sell really good, and well, it's probably gonna well, easily gonna pass ten million. Ten million by the end of the year. Facts. Yeah, because I mean, only three days, three point one million. Remember that was what last week. So, yeah, I mean. Not and single-player games through. like that sell for a long time. Yeah, but, like, bro, like, wait till you get to the Valkyries and that shit, bro. Like, Oh, I beat I'm the queen. I'm about the Valkyries. Oh, oh Valkyries. my God. Okay, you know you know when you do the, the trials, right? The bitch at the top of the mountain? Yeah. Bro, I can't beat. I got her health to half, and that's it. I can't do no more. Like, I'm getting fucked up. <laughs> Maybe I need to level up or something, because, uh... All right. <sighs> Are you using the axe or the, um, blades the of axe? Chaos? Try the um, blades, because that's how I beat the um, Valkyrie Queen, finally. I was using the axe probably for at least 100 attempts, and then I switched to the blades, and after 10 times, I just completely destroyed her. So try that. The axe, I mean, the, um, the blades? I'll try the blades. Yeah, because the reach is a lot better. So, like, you know when they block with their wings? Right. Um, Sometimes, like, even though you hit them and, like, stun them, the wings still hit you and do damage. Right. The um, blades have a lot more range. And that seemed to help me a lot. I'm going to add you on PSN right now. Hold on. I've been, um, my friends list is looking kind of dope on PSN, bro. I've been adding motherfuckers on there. I'm trying to make the shift, man. Well, I made it, but I'm just talking about, like, friend-wise. Uh, what's, what's your, get, what's your uh, PSN name, man? All right, don't laugh, but it's an old ass name. I've been waiting for a name change. 2009. Hey, you know a dude got a bogus name when he, before he even tell you his name. It's not even. All right, so it's not even my name to begin with. It's the account me and my brother I, shared. I, I bought a picture using. Hey, he he made, say, it came with the account. He, he's not gonna tell you his name, but before I tell you, dude, I've been waiting forever to change to my name. It. <laughs> Almost. His name is his name is Dick Licker seventy eight. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Oh, okay. What is it? All right. So it's the underscore G like T H E E. No, T H E, just like okay. the. Okay. Underscore. And then eternal. Uh, e- eternal pain. Yep. I wouldn't laugh at that, bro. I don't know. It's just that wasn't even bad, bro. What the fuck? Ah, uh, I don't wow. like it though. Oh, it says it says it song. cannot. Thought... Oh, it do an underscore cannot... between eternal and pain. That'll work. Yeah, it is. It's, it, it says uh, it Hold says on. cannot send friend request because the recipient the recipient setting. Hold on, let me switch it. Hey, what's up with Garrett, bro? Garrett been hitting us earlier, bro. Them niggas out there acting real spooky. <laughs> Fucking uh, kaleidoscoping them. Oh, with all that gay shit? Yeah, you know what it is with them. You already know what it is, man.